Hello and welcome. This is all from Open Source Channel. In this new episode, I'm going to show you how to migrate your WordPress website. It doesn't matter if you change the server or even the domain name. The actual step is exactly the same. You just follow how I'm going to show you and you will have no problem at all. And best of all, everything's free, even the plugins. Let's get started. First of all, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, where you can actually find all my latest videos. Don't forget to like or dislike it if you don't like it, and share every single video. In this case, you're going to help me by doing so. So thanks again to all my subscribers and let's dive in. Now, if you haven't uh, downloaded yet, or at least if you haven't got the uh, WordPress, you can follow the steps in one of my videos how to install WordPress. Let's find it. Here we go here, how to install WordPress 3.4.2. Now, uh, it doesn't matter which WordPress you have, even the latest one, the steps on how to install it is exactly the same. All right, here I got a demo website that I just created. Uh, I'm already logged in. It's site1.opensourcechannel.uk. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to migrate this website on different. Uh, it's, the domain is still the same, but what I've done, I just created a sub, uh, subdomain site2.opensourcechannel.uk. Now, it doesn't matter, I know this is exactly the same, but it doesn't matter, even if it's a different one, uh, the process is exactly the same. Now, the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to my new website uh, or new domain um, PHP my admin and I'm going to create a database name for this tutorial I'm going to call it site 12 now you, logically you want to create a database that is relevant to you and you want to make sure that it's quite a difficult name to you know to guess as well now I'm going to press create and then I'm going to go to users. Now I can use one of those users here or I can create a new one. For this um, tutorial I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to click on add user. Here I'm going to put the name of the user and I'm going to call it tutorial. And as a password, you want something very long, as long as possible, you know, quite long. Try to use num uh, numbers, uppercase, lowercase, you know, to make it difficult to guess. Let's start again. And I'm going to retype it. I can actually generate, as you can see here, the password. And by generating, as you see, it's quite difficult to guess. I'm going to generate it anyway now, so you can see it. So I'm going to copy the password. Now I'm going to check all the global privileges. Make sure that is checked. Otherwise, you won't have you know a lot of problem to create. Uh, tables in the database and once you finish I'm going to press go here we go we got the new um, user now what I'm going to do now I'm going to right click here and say folder uh, no I'm going to say text here and I'll say tutorial just to remember myself the password so is tutorial and the password was this one here. 
So this is the details of the new database. I go back to my browser. Now this is the actual um, new website. This is the blog. And this is the admin side of the blog. Now I'm going to the dashboard. There we go, you can see here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is going to click on add new plugins so plugins i can do plugins and then i click on the top add new or you can do plugins and new it's up to you how you do it now i'm going to press add new and i'm going to search for a free plugin called duplicator i want to remind this is a free um, plugin and it's really good actually so I'm going to click on install now to do this process for websites uh, there are a lot of companies charging a lot of money well you know with a little bit of knowledge you can actually do it yourself for free now once it's been downloaded and installed I'm going to activate it Now on the menu on the left side, I'm going to click on duplicator. Forget about here the, you know, all the, the menu. And this is the first page that you will see the plugin app and running. Now, the first thing you want to do is to create a new backup. Now you can leave all this as they are, you know, you need to you change it. Um, but let's have a look a little bit now storage it tells exactly where it is hosted logically this is locally so you you will see a totally different path but don't worry this is automatically done so you don't have to do anything now I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on archive now you can actually archive and enable filters if you want to and you can actually enable table filters this is for the database now i usually back up every single thing so i'm going to leave it as there and now finally on installer now here you can actually add information to the installer prior the installation on a new website but if you don't know the information for example uh, the one that we just created here and you're going to do the backup first don't do installing you know the uh, input of the database so i'm going to leave it blank again and i'm going to click on next i hope i made sense there There we go now we got two packages one is called installer and one is called archive now i'm going to press all packages and now we have all the files here i can click on view for the details now i'm going to download both of them i'm going to download the installer first and it's a php file called installer and I'm going to click on archive and download the archive as you can see here now once it's been done I'm going to right click it and I'm going to open the containing folder that's where I have downloaded as you can see it now if I go back here now this is the content of the folder of my new website in this case is site 2 so to start the installation what you need to do is just copy those two files inside 
or upload those files to your folder or to the root directory of your web server where you are going to install the actual website htdocs is the usually you know as you can see here the actual folder where you upload your files so i'm going to move it over for myself there going to close this and here we go now don't forget this is very important those two details here now going back as you can see here on site 2 is nothing there but if i to refresh here we got the two files that I, I uploaded or i copied in this case so i'm going to click on installer.php and here we go we start the installation on this server now i can create a new database or i can actually connect to an existing one the one i actually as you can see from here uh, let's click on 12 there the one i just created all right and the details are here okay now i'm going to copy the password now the host is local host uh, what am I doing? The name of your database is tutorial. Right? The user, sorry, the name of the database, I think, is site 12. I do apologize. And the name of the user is tutorial. Two, two, three, one. And the password is the one we just made it so i'm going to test the connection and it says pass i have read all the wordings and notices okay so everything's done now i'm going to run deployment on a new server and i'm going to press ok Now it may take a little bit longer than usual, but don't worry. As I was saying earlier on, as long as you've got a good uh, hosting provider, you shouldn't have any problem with this uh, plugin. It might you might have a little bit of problems with free you know free hosting. But some works okay, some, you know, you might have a problem. Uh, you can have a new admin again. Let's do a new admin. Details. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So let's see, actually choose something, you know, big. There we go, everything is looks okay, all the database, all the tables, and I'm going to run the update. Now, this is the old, as you can see, settings, this is the new settings, and that is the same title that we had on the other one. So I'm going to run the update. Now, everything looks okay, there is one warning. And click on general warning. The following warning is there. Okie dokie. Okay, the admin already exists, so that's the, the problem. Um, so you haven't. So, what happens now um, if I go back to So what happens is the same uh, login and password from your last website. So my case was admin admin.
and we go you got a new installation and that's it really if I go to blog music site as you can see is exactly the same the difference is on this is site one and this site two anyway guys thanks again for um, following me on this new tutorial i hope you liked it don't forget to share it as much as you can so i can make more videos thanks again and i'll see you next time